Well, you know, with all this stuff on television right now, whoops, wrong button. Try to turn the lights on. And they were talking about uh, the moon landing some 40 years ago. Now, got me thinking about one thing. Uh, you know, that was quite some time ago. And you've got conspiracy theorists saying it never happened. You got people trying to prove them right. People trying to prove them wrong, mostly. The all kinds of discussions about, you know, whether it actually happened or not. And, uh, you know, I gotta ask one thing. Why? I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this. I love space travel. I love it. I mean, I love Star Wars, you know, and the, the, the movies, the space operas and fiction. Uh, I never watched Star Trek, but I'm sure that if I did, I would love it. Uh, I love pretending that this bathroom is a spaceship. Uh, I, I love playing outer space stuff, you know, this kind of looks like a galaxy or something, you know. And you can, like, have so much fun and you're, like, you're hearing the thunder or storm, you know, and you pretend that it's, like enemy ships firing at you or something. But we're talking about reality here. I mean, what's the point in real life of space travel? I mean, space travel is fun in fiction, you know. It's, it's a great thing. I love video games. You know, you have space travel, like uh, in Spore. You get to explore space, and, you know, it, it, it's really fun. You kind of get to sit back and, and fly from one planet to the other wondering what kind of civilization you're going to find and you're all kind of laid back and all that. It's fun. It, it's fun. I love space travel. I love all these weird uh, designer spaceships that they can come up with in uh, video games, you know, and uh, uh, cartoons, uh, movies, you know, there's always like this, these big stories and all that. But, in real life, I mean, how much money do we spend on this stuff? And I just got to wonder, what do we actually have to gain? You know, what do we gain from space travel? I mean, okay, we spent, you know, a shitload of government money. And we used all that money to build big machines that just flow out and, you know, went out in space, took some pictures. of Jupiter or whatever you can see the gas you know like you can see a little big red spot or something and they took all these pictures you can see the rocks on, on Mars and a little mountain thing that looks like a face but aside from the intrigue what do we gain from it what what's the point i mean if we were to go on another planet and uh, uh if we were to find uh you know some kind of a rock Okay, imagine a rock that we found on some kind of planet and contains a material that doesn't exist on the earth. Okay, imagine that. Now, say that this material can be used like to cure diseases or that, you know, it, it, it's such a strange thing that it makes us like uh, rethink uh, some stuff that we took for granted in science or 
you know, it, that it advances us in one way or another. You know, and it benefits life of people. Imagine that. You know, and we have something to gain from it. But, you know, other than that, the impression that I get is that, you know, we've got all the little people in the world and just living day after day, trying to scrape by, wondering what's going on. And then, you're all really small, you know. You're like a little thingy here, and then you look up and you see the huge United States and Russia, like two gigantic ogres, and they're stepping over everybody, and they're like, they're, they take their pants down, and they, you know, show their huge penises to everybody, and, and they engage in a gigantic pissing match, uh, all the way out there, to see, ouch. Who pisses the furthest? You know, what? Oh, we got the biggest spaceships. Oh, it's an embarrassment. The Russians are gonna get the spaceship out before us. Oh, we gotta show how bad they are. You know what I mean? You know, at some point, you just gotta think, you know, it's fun, maybe, but I guess we're overestimating things. Science and whatever. You know, I'm gonna show you something, okay? I'm gonna show you something. Just wait right there for a second. Ah. Okay. Now, look at this. This is a 25 cents, okay? Well, it's not very big compared to the size of, of my thumb, you see? So, imagine that this is the sun, okay? You've got the sun right here. That's the sun. Now you got the solar system around it, okay? On scale you got the solar system. Now, if we take the star that is closest to us, that would be about the size of another 25 cents. If you want to stay in proportion here, the 25 cents closest to this one would be about the distance from here to Quebec City that is about you know 200 some miles now do you realize how big 200 miles is for something this small Now the sun is much bigger than the earth. And if we were to travel from here to somewhere over there, it would take a tremendous amount of resources. It would cost so much money. And it would take so much time and preparation and uh, all the effort it would take you know to get to all these little dotsy thingies there and all little asteroids or whatever you know how do you think well we already know there aren't any advanced civilizations as well <laughs> at least we think so in our solar system unless well, maybe you go like down and you find the core of Jupiter under all that gas, and maybe you find something. Well, I don't think so. Nobody really thinks so. So you gotta, you wanna find, you know, big aliens and everything. You gotta go to another solar system at least. And if you can't even get here, you know, uh, yeah. 
how long does it take? I mean, I can walk all the way here with my fingers. You know, if you can walk all the way here with your fingers, and imagine, you know, 200 miles, uh, it would take such a long time. You know, you, you could have, you know, enough gas, you know, to fill a tank in a spaceship the size of the sun, you know, and you would still run out of gas before you get there. Take the most powerful engine we have on the earth, and, uh, well, by the time you get there, even if you had an unlimited amount because energy doesn't come from nowhere, you need some kind of source of energy. Do you realize how much time would have passed? There probably wouldn't even be a spaceship anymore by the time it got there. So, really, is there really a long-term objective? Do we really have something to gain from all of this? Seriously, I'm tired. I just feel tired. You know, this ain't for fun. You know, politics is not supposed to be fun. Politics is supposed to be boring. Current events, is, it's not supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be interesting. The moon landing and all this stuff, it's all show, you know, it, it, it's entertaining, it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be for the good of humanity, and it's not. Leave the space missions to George Lucas. Leave the spaceship to video game players. And the space explorations, and the aliens, and and the super civilizations leave all that to us and let politicians you know debate boring things like building bridges and hospitals and and uh, you know taking care of sick children or whatever it is that they do uh, although I suspect that Capitol Hill is just one big homosexual orgy I mean why do you think that there's so much secrecy in there. I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, for all their talk about homosexuals, you know, that, anyway, uh, I don't want to imagine, you know, some of them aren't really good looking. I mean, you can try to visualize, you know, John McCain and Arlen Specter and, well, you know, George Bush, uh, you know, he said that he had a lot of sex with President Reagan, you know, so kind of puts things into perspective, you know, just kind of, anyway. Um, I'm really tired. I just think I'm gonna go lie down somewhere. It's about 9 p.m. and I gotta take the subway because I'm not sleeping here tonight and I don't feel like it so I'm gonna just sleep on the subway. You know I love taking the subway at night. I can look out the window and see the tunnels and it's all dark, you know, but I imagine that I'm seeing the sky because I figure the sky is also dark. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the through the windows of the subway and I imagine being outside out in the open looking at the sky, you know. And I can't do that in the day because my subconscious knows that there are clouds and everything. But in the night I can do that. Oh, by the way, remember that video I made some months ago? Uh when uh, Obama was inaugurated and I made a, a pretty failed omelette and there was this fire and everything well in that video I burned my finger and uh, look still got a mark from there it's the same little mark I got it's not gonna go away I tried uh, poking it with a needle you know to try and heal it but whatever it's not going away so I'm, you know, when I'm a hundred years old or something, if I live that long, I'm going to have my grand grandkids are going to ask me, you know, where I got that scar and I'm going to tell them, you know, a long time ago, I made a video about 
you know, an omelette and there was a fire and I burned my finger on it. And they're gonna be like, dude. Anyway, so uh, good night or something, whatever.